Blair Kirkhoff for the Kansas City Star and KansasCity.com and making his courtside debut, Sam Melliger, columnist of the Kansas City Star and KansasCity.com. KU, Iowa State, 6 o'clock for the, in the semifinal game. Kansas beat Oklahoma State in overtime and got 30 points from Andrew Wiggins in the quarterfinal game. 77-70 was the final score. It was the second straight great game for Andrew Wiggins. And Sam, what, is, what does that mean for Kansas going forward, just to have back-to-back -back great games for Andrew Wiggins? Yeah, well, first of all, big fan of the show. I've seen every episode. Thanks for having me on. Uh, <laughs> about Wiggins, I think this has to be his new normal. You know, without there's not a lot of teams in the country that could absorb losing the number one pick in the draft. And it hurts KU, but they still have a lot of size. That's one place where they, they have some depth. But they do need to make up some points. They need to do a better job of keeping teams out of the paint uh, without that rim protector back there. And Andrew Wiggins is a huge part of both of that. And, you know, KU still has arguably the most talented player in the country. And that always gives you a chance in the NCAA tournament. So uh, he needs to play like it. He needs to be that West Virginia, you know, the last game of the regular season than what, what we saw today. Absolutely. And they... Joel uh, Embiid will not play in the Big 12 tournament. We know that won't play likely in the first and second round or second and third round of the NCAA tournament next week. What did Kansas show in the Oklahoma State victory uh, about itself winning a game, a beating a quality opponent without Joel Embiid? Yeah, I mean, it's easy to look, right, that Oklahoma State had to play the play-in game to get here, but that's a really good team, and Bill Self called them, a, you know, the equivalent of, they won't get it, but the equivalent of a number four or five seed in the NCAA tournament. So, yeah, you're beating a good team uh, with another lottery pick, uh, four guys that, that can really put up some points. Uh, that was a back-and-forth game, and KU had to make a lot of plays, and, and to do that, you're sort of adjusting on the fly with the guy that you've grown used to back there, that he's he's got your back. If, if, the, if your guy gets by you, you know they've got a seven footer you know an agile seven footer to get by now too so there, there's a lot that they're kind of doing on the fly and to win that game uh it took overtime maybe you'd like to see him do it a little bit easier but uh to win that game i think is a really good sign for them going forward i agree he's sam i'm blair follow the coverage of the big 12 tournament in the kansas city star and online on kansascity.com